Hello friends, I am Neshik and today in this video I will teach you how to create a beautiful and professional slider for your WordPress website. Now we will be using a free plugin to do this thing. And with this free plugin you can create amazing looking sliders for your business website, e-commerce website or any other website. We will also see how to add animations and additional customizations to these slides and then how to make this slider mobile and tablet friendly. Also there are many beautiful sliders already created for you. So if you want you can simply import these sliders and customize it according to your needs. Then there are millions of free stock images, vector files, shapes, background images, patterns and illustrations that you can easily import on these slides. And again let me remind you that doing all these things is completely free. So here as you can see these are some of the examples of these slides. And if you see over here so many pre-made templates and slides are already created for you. And I'll show you how you can simply with one click import the slider and after that you can do some changes according to your needs. So let's see how this is done. Now first of all you need to go back to your WordPress dashboard. So I'll be using this website, this e-commerce website to create this slider. So we'll create a slider on this website. So here as you can see this is a also a very beautiful website. So this is a 100% professional e-commerce website. So if somebody wants they can add this product in their cart, they can favorite this product and after that they can go to the checkout page and they can do the checkout and so many different payment gateways are also integrated over here as you can see cash on delivery. Then we have net banking, credit card, debit card, we have Stripe payment gateway. So in fact if you want, you can, if you want to create a free e-commerce website, this is a totally professional e-commerce website and again this website is also created using only free resources. So if you want to do that thing, if you want to create a professional e-commerce website for absolutely free using free theme and free plugins. So you can go to my YouTube channel and you can see this video over here. If you don't see this video, you can just search for Nayar Shake e-commerce. You will see this website. You'll see this video basically. As you can see the very first video, how to create an e-commerce website with WordPress free online store 2022. Or if you're watching this video in future 2023, 2024, you will see a latest video related to that. So make sure you watch that video if you want to create a professional looking, beautiful looking e-commerce website. Now let's get back to the slider. So first of all you need to go back to your dashboard and we need to install a new free plugin to install this slider. Now to download this plugin you have to open a new tab and type in blogdude.com slash depictor. In fact you don't even have to type in this thing, I have given you this link in the video description below. You can simply click on that link and you should be now redirected to this page. So here as you can see this is the plugin that we'll be using, Depictor WordPress plugin and this is, I don't, I don't know how they were able to make it free. Such an amazing and professional website, such an amazing and professional plugin to create you know, these kind of amazing sliders and this is also very lightweight. Like there are few plugins that are available in the market, they, those are pre paid plugins, premium plugins. But when you create a slider with that, you know the slider is very heavy, your website becomes very heavy. So it takes a lot of time to load your website but with this, this slider is very lightweight. So we need to download this plugin for free so you'll see this download button. Click on this thing and you will download a new zip file. So as you can see it says your download will begin in few seconds. If your download does not start you can click on this link, download now link. But it will start here as you can see it has started. I'll cancel this thing because I already have the zip file. Now you have to come back to your dashboard and click on plugins from the left hand side. Now click on add new. And because we have the file we have to you know just upload this file over here. So click on upload plugin, choose file and just choose the file that you have just downloaded. So I have downloaded this depictor zip file, open this file and click on install now. Now once it is installed you need to click on this activate plugin button and this plugin will be activated. You don't have to do anything else. Once this plugin is activated you will get a new option at the left hand side. So if you see at the left hand side at the bottom left you will see this depictor logo, dep depictor option, click on that. And now you should see this screen. Now because we are doing this for the first time we don't have any sliders created. Now here I am going to show you three things. First I'll show you how you can import a slider. Then after that I'll show you how you can do some changes in this slider according to your needs and how you can customize this slider. And finally at the end I'll show you how you can create your own slider from scratch. So let's see that. So first to import a new slider you don't actually have to create, click on import a slider. You can import a slider by clicking on this create slider button. So if you click on create slider, they will give you so many different pre-made layouts. So whichever layout you want to use uh, to create this thing, you can just select that layout. You know, so many different layouts are available as you can see. So for example, I want to use this one. Okay, so I'll click on import 
and this will import this slider for me. And once it is imported, this page will reload and you will see this slider over here. So here as you can see, this is how this slider looks like. Now the very first thing I want to show you, in fact I want to explain you over here is what all elements you see on your screen. So let me ex explain you what all elements you see on your screen. And once I explain you this thing, you will automatically, you will already get a better idea about how to use this plugin. Now let's start from here, from these five, six different elements. Now at the left hand side here, as you can see, we have photos, then we have text, we have videos, we have shapes and vectors, then we have button. And after that, finally, we have control. Now in the photos, as I said you earlier, they have integrated many different websites like pexels.com, unsplash.com. So with these websites, you can download free copyright free images you know, and you can use it on your slider. For example, if you want images related to business and work, you can click on this category and you will see so many free images related to business and work. Okay, similarly, sim similarly, if I again come back to photos, let's cut this thing. Now, if you want any image for the background, you can click on background and here as you can see, so many different images that you can use in your background. Again, if you come back, we have textures and patterns. So if you want to use any of these images for background or for textures or patterns, you can just keep on scrolling down and you can, you will, you know, keep on getting more images. Now, if you want to use, or if you want to search for some image, some kind of image, you can do that thing as well. For example, if you search for school, if you want to see school related images, you can see now here's, you can see all these free images related to school. And if you want to be more specific school girl, for example, you can type in this thing. And now you'll see some more examples related to that. You can scroll down and you can type in girl with book, you know, a guy in suit, you know, anything like that. Now, if you want, you can upload your own images as well. You can just click on upload and upload whatever image you have and you can use it on your slider. I'll explain you how to use the image in this slider. First, let me explain you all the different elements. Now, the second element is this text element, which obviously will be used to add different text. And you'll see so many different styles are automatically created for you. So basically you can do one thing, you can just add as text and after that you can style it. Or if you want, there are so many different styles already created, you can just import these texts on your website and you can change the content. Okay, so we have the text. Then we also have videos over here. So if you want, you can, you know, use these free videos in your background. So I have explained you, I have shown you this template. In this template, if you see, we have these videos, we have different videos in different slides in this particular slider. So you can do it like this, you can add video in the background and then after that you can create your slider. So we have this option as well, if you want video related to ocean, you can click on ocean or if you click, if you want video related to forest, you can search for forest and you can see all these videos. Then we have shapes. So here as you can see, we have used a few shapes over here. So you can use these kind of shapes, you can just import it on your website. Then we have buttons, so we have used this button. So you can use any one of these buttons and you can customize it and design it according to your needs. And finally, we have the control. So these left and right controls, if you see it on any option, for example, here, as you can see, the control is at the bottom. Okay. And in, in the second slider, the control is over here and the shape is also different. This is circular. This is, you know, just a regular button without any shape. Then if you see this one, this is also a different button. So you can create these kind of controls as well. So this was the most important thing, the left hand side. Now at the right hand side, you have settings. So if you click on any of the option, for example, if you click on text, you will see the options at the right hand side will change. Now you will get settings related to the text. So for example, if you want to increase uh, the width and positioning of the text, if you want to change the font family, right now it is open sans, if you want to make it maybe able, or if you want to change the font family. And if you do any changes, if you, if you want to go back to the previous change, you can just press Ctrl Z to undo the changes. All right, so as you can see, it is now done. Now, similarly, if you want to do some changes on the button, you can click on this button. And now here is the right hand side, you have no options related to button. Then after that, if you want to animate the button, you can click on this animate option and you can see preview animation. If you hover or preview animation, it will preview the uh, re preview the current animation for the button. If you want to preview all the animation on this slide, you can hover over this button preview all animation. Okay, let me show you again, just like this preview all animation. Okay, so this is the right hand side thing. Once you click on any one of these elements, you can see that thing and you can change it from here. Then we have few more options. Uh, if you see at the bottom, we have this slide one, slide two. So when you import any slider, there are multiple slides created in that particular slider. So in this case, there are three slides created in this slider. So if you want to go to next slide, you can click on next slide. And now as you can see, this is your next slide. If you again click on next slide, this is your third slide. 
If you want to add one more slide, you can click on this new slide button and you can add a new slide. Then after that, you have the you know option for different devices. So right now, this is how your slider will look on a desktop. If you want to see how your slider will look on a mobile phone, you can click on this mobile icon and you will see this is how your slider will look in a mobile phone. All right. So you can change the design. You can change how your website or how your slider looks on a mobile phone and how your slider looks on a tablet and on a desktop. You can change this thing. So basically you can make it device friendly or mobile friendly. All right. So we have seen all the elements that are available over here. There are few more options, but we'll see them later on. So basically all the basic elements we have seen. Now let me show you once you import this slide, for example, we have just imported this slide, how you can make some changes in this slide. Now I don't want to change the layout design. I think the layout and design is perfect. I just want to change the content. For example, instead of this girl's image, I want to change this image with uh, maybe a boy's image. Okay. So I'll type in boy with book. Okay. Now I'll get all the images related to that. So here as you can see, you can also type a kid with book or you can type in anything you want. I'm just showing you some examples. Now, whatever image you want, for example, let's see, well, suppose I want this image. Okay. And I don't, if I, if you just click on this image, it will just open this thing in this option. Okay. In this content area. And now you can, you know, change it wherever you want. You can resize it and you can do all these things. What I want to do is I want to delete this thing. I want to replace this image with this one. So I don't have to click on this. I can just uh, just click on this and drag it over here. Okay. Now drag it over this image, the top image. Now, once you see, once I bring it over the top image, you can see the background image. That girl's image is now highlighted in blue. If you see properly. Now, if I just leave it now, this image will be replaced with that guy's image, as you can see. And if you want to re uh, reposition this image, you can double click on this image. And now, as you can see, you can reposition this image. Uh, suppose I want to show maybe uh, this much portion. So I'll do it like this. And after that, you can click anywhere. So I'll click outside this box. And now as you can see, this is repositioned. Now, similarly, maybe I want to change this image. Okay. And instead of this, maybe I want to put, uh, let's see, let's see some other image. Okay. Maybe I want to use this image. Okay. So again, I'll do the same thing. I'll drag and drop it over here over this image. And again, you can see the images change. If you want to reposition is just double click on this thing. And after that, you can reposition this image. Okay. And then click outside the box. Okay. So this is also done. If you want to move anything, for example, I want to move this thing over here or wherever you want, you can move it. Now, another great thing is that when, whenever you move this thing, it will also tell you the gap between all the other elements. So between this uh, star and this gap, you can see the gap and you can also see uh, the positioning and everything related to other objects. Okay. So this is also great. Now, if you want to make anything, for example, I want to make this image circular. This is a rectangular image. I want to make it circular. So you can click on this image and you will see this corner radius. Uh, you can in increase this thing. For example, if you type in 50 pixels or 500 pixels, now as you can see, this is a circular image. So you can make change that thing as well. Similarly, if you want to do some changes in the text, I want to change this text. So I can double click on this text. And now, as you can see, I can change the text. So right now it says investing in knowledge and in your future. Uh, you can type in anything you want. So something about the slider. Okay. Like this. And you can also, you know, add, you can do it like this. You can add multiple lines. You can change however you want to, you know, present this thing. And again, once I, you know, change this thing, it, it will show you when this thing properly aligns with all the other text. Similarly for the second text, you can click on that and you can change the text. Now, if you want to change the styling of this text, you can click on this text and at the right hand side, you have this font right now, by default, it is open sans. Instead of that, if you want some other font family or font style, you can uh, select that font as well. Maybe, uh, let's see, let's select, uh, let me scroll down. Actually, let me search for Poppins font family. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is Poppins font family. Now for the button, if you click on this button, now at the right hand side, you can see this is the background color for this button. If you want to change this background color instead of this, maybe I want this orange color. Now, as you can see, background color is changed to this orange color. If you want to increase the size or decrease the size, you can do that thing as well, obviously. Now for this uh, button, for the arrow button, you can change the background color for this as well. So maybe for this, I want this green color. Okay. I'm just showing you obviously you should not be doing this thing. A uh, green is not looking that great. Okay. I'm just showing you that you can do some changes like this. Okay. Now this is your slide. 
Now, wh whenever you do any changes on your website, you should always publish these changes. So, so click on this publish changes so that whatever changes you have made, those changes will be saved. Now, similarly, you can go to next slide. So click on next slide and whatever changes you want to do over here, you can do that changes as well. Okay. And if you want to add a new slide, click on this new slide button and you can do that thing. Now there are many benefits of importing a slider. So it saves you a lot of time and the design and layout is already created as you can see. You just need to replace the content. So I've replaced the content with this thing. You, I've also changed the color and it saves a lot of time because I don't have to you know, add any animation. Animation is also added. So if I click on this play animation button, as you can see animation and everything is added. So this saves a lot of time. And if you want to do it manually, you can do it, but that will take some time. Let me show you how you can do this thing manually. First again, whenever you do any changes, make sure to preview the changes. Now I'll show you at the end of the video how you can, now we have created this slider, but how you can you know, use this slider on any page or on any post, any blog post or any page, how you can do that thing. First, let's again come back to our dashboard. Now, if you want to create a new slider from scratch, you can click on create slider. And now you don't have to select any, uh, any of these templates. You can click on this option, create blank slider because we want to create a blank slider, obviously. Now you can change, uh, you can change the name. So by default, it will give you some name. And then after that, you have to select the content width and height. So for width, I would recommend you 1600 pixels and height. You can change this thing to 900 pixels. Okay. Then for layout, you can make it full width. You can make it full screen. You can make it boxed. I'm keeping it at full screen. Now click on create slider. And now as you can see, the content area is created for you. Now in this content area, what I want to do is uh, there is one slider. For example, you can take any slider, for example. Now I am taking this slider and now I'll show you how you can create or uh, for example, this is a slider that I like and, and I want to implement the same type of slider on my website. So how you can do it. Okay. So all, all the element that you see on your screen, I'll show you how you can create this slider from scratch. So first we'll come over here. First, if you see, let me actually bring it over here. First, we have this left hand side element. Okay. This element that you see on your screen. So this is a shape. I'll add a shape. Okay. So we'll click on shape option and you can select any shape. I'll select this option. Okay. This uh, shape, this square shape. And after that, what I want to do is if you see this shape over here at the bottom, right, we have this round option. I don't know if you can see it properly or not. Okay. This is a rectangular shape, but at the bottom right side, this is rounded. Okay. This is circular. So what I'll do is I'll select this option, go to corner radius. Okay. Over here at the right hand side, by default, if I just change this thing to 50 pixels, this will become like this, but I don't want to do it like this. So I'll again, click on this thing, make it zero first. Okay. Now this is logged. I'll unlock this thing. So click on this lock pad. This is now unlocked. I want to make, uh, I want to change this thing, but only for the bottom right side before that i want to increase the size of this thing okay maybe this much let me see okay okay this big all right now i want to make this thing circular only at bottom right so i'll select the bottom right i'll make it maybe 200 let's see now as you can see this is circular and if you want to change the color of this thing let me see what the color is all right so if you click on this thing f1 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 this is the color so fill color, as you can see, by default is AAA. I'll change this thing to F1. Let me type in this thing F1, F1, F1. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have this color. You can, you can hide this thing to see how it is looking right now. All right. So with this, we have this shape at the left hand side. Then after that, we have another shape. If you see properly, we have this shape over here, uh, below, uh, below this thing, below this text, we have that shape. Okay. So let's add that shape as well. So for that, I'll again, come back over here. And I'll use the same shape, bring it over here and change the size a little bit and then change the color. Okay. So let's get the color code. Let me get rid of this. Let me refresh this thing actually. So I already know the color code. So I can type it over here under fill color at the right hand side. I'll type in 4D E F E D. Okay. Now as you can see this color and you can bring this uh, shape wherever you want. So here, as you can see, this is overlapping. This shape is on top of this shape. So this is overlapping like this one. Okay. You can change this size. You can change all these things if you want. And on top of that shape, you have this option. We have this text modern furniture. So now we need to add the text. So click on text, click on add text uh, option and bring it wherever you want and type in modern furniture. 
Now, once you have the text, you can now go ahead and increase or decrease the size. You can change the uh, font family. You can change all these things. So first of all, the default font family is Open Sans. Instead of Open Sans, I'll make it Hebo. Okay, H-E-E-B-O. Okay, so font family is changed. And after that, I'll also change the size. Uh, default size right, right now is 34 pixels. I'll increase this thing to 80 pixels. Okay, now as you can see, bring it over here, just like this. All right, so this is how it is looking, maybe like this. All right. And now as you can see, this looks very much similar to this one. I think the shape size, we can decrease the shape size. Now, if two things are uh, uh, no, on top of each other, it is very difficult to select the second option. So what you can do is, we cannot select actually, if you see, we cannot select the back element. So if you want to do that thing, you can right click on this and you can, you have this option select element. Now I want to select the shape. So click on shape. And now as you can see, we can do some changes. I think we can decrease the size of this shape a little bit. All right. All right. Now it is looking much better. Then after that, we have another text. Okay. So many different texts. So you get the idea now again, you can use this option. Now we have subheading. I'll bring this subheading over here. And as you can see, when you bring this thing anywhere, you also get these options when it is properly aligned. Now it says starts from $150. So if you want to type in this thing, double click and just keep on, uh, op uh, just type this thing starts from $150. Now again, to change this thing, instead of this, you, if you want to change the font family, you can change it. Then after that, you can also change the tag. So this is H3, I'll make it H4. Okay, and after that, you can also change the sizing for this as well. So maybe for this, I'll change this thing to 23, 24, I think is looking good. So I don't need to change this thing. But if you want to make it bolder or anything like that, you can do that thing as well. So maybe let's do one thing, let's make it bold. Because this thing, this text is bold as you can see. Okay, now this is how it is looking. All right, let me bring it over here. Similarly, for the second, third text, you can just keep on adding that thing. So I'll again come over here, add paragraph. This is just a simple paragraph. So I'll bring it over here, type in whatever I want to type in. All right, then bring it over here. And after that, we can again change this size and everything for this as well. Now for this, I want to change this thing to Roboto font family. All right, so I'll change this thing to Roboto font family. And size maybe instead of 15, let's make it 16 pixels. Okay, a little bit bigger. And if you want to add multiple lines, for example, after uh, spring, I want to add this line. So you can just press enter to bring it in next line or new line. Okay, and you can also control this, uh, you know, spacing and all. So maybe I want to bring it a little bit at top. All right, so maybe looking good. Fine. Then we have this button. So we'll select this button element. And we don't have the circular button. We have a simple rectangular button. So we'll select the first option, rectangular button. Bring it over here. Now after that, the button text says read more. So instead of click here, I'll double click on this and type in read more. Now if you want to zoom in this thing, you have this fit option. Maybe I want to zoom in 150. Okay, so that I can see properly. Now as you can see, you can see it properly. If you want, you can zoom it like this with your mouse and press control and scroll up or down. You will zoom in or zoom out. Okay. So that you can see it properly. Then if you click on this thing, we have to do some changes. We have to change the background color to black and the text color to this color. Okay. So to do this thing, you have this thing at the right hand side background color. You can select this color and whatever color you want. So we'll, we, we have this color in the recent colors, as you can see earlier we have used. So this is the text color, not the background color. So background color is black and text color. You can see the text color, which is over here. As you can see at top text color is white. We want this color as our text color. Now for size uh, by default, it is 13. If you want to increase or decrease the size, you can do this thing as well. So I'll make it 15 pixels, a little bit bigger. You can also increase or decrease the size of the button, obviously. So if you want to increase the size of this button, you can just do it like this. All right. Fine. Then after that, we have uh, the arrows. Okay. So if you want to add these arrows, you can select whatever type of arrow you want. Okay. As you can see, we have all these options. If you want arrow at left and right, you can just select any one of these arrows. If I click on first option, as you can see, this has added one arrow at left and one at right. So if you want to add this option, you can add it like this. And if you want, you can just press control Z 
to get rid of this. If you want to add arrow wherever you want, for example, if you have added it over here, so you can do it one by one. So I'll click on this first option, bring this arrow over here. Let me see. All right. Well, uh, click on the second option and bring it over here. And as you can see, this will help you to align this thing. So we have these two. Okay, not this one. We want this one. Okay. And let's see. Bring it over here. All right. So this is how you can, if you want to increase the size, obviously you can click on this thing and you can increase the size as well. Width and height, you can increase the width and height. It will automatically increase the size. So this is your arrow. Okay. And after that, at the right hand side, whatever things you have. So at the left, at the right hand side, first we have this background image. So for the background image, you can come back to images and you can search for any image. So this is basically a wall image. So you can search for wall and whatever image you want. Okay. You can just use that image on your screen. Okay. On this slider. So maybe uh, let's select, let's use this first image. So I'll click on this thing, bring it over here. And again, you can just go ahead and resize it like this. Okay, like this, fine. And on top of that, if uh, I want to use this chair image. So I have this image uh, under my images. So I'll bring this image over here. Okay, resize it probably. All right, so bring it over here, fine. All right, now I think everything else looks pretty good. Maybe I want to do one thing. I want to select this element. Now, if you want to select multiple elements, you can do one thing. Uh, you can uh, just press this thing. You can press, you can press a shift and you can select all these elements. So I'm selecting these elements. And then after that, you can bring them wherever you want. So maybe I want to bring them over here. Now I'll bring this thing as well. All right. So this is looking better. And this is how it is looking. If you, you know, do it like this. So this is your slide one. If you are, if you want to create a new slide, click on new slide and you can just, you know, keep on adding, uh, you know, I've already shown you how you can design this thing, add element and keep on designing it. Now, once you do this thing, after that, you have to add all the animations. So to add animations, you can do it one by one. First, we have this thing at the left hand side. You can see the animation. If I bring it over here, okay, all these animation delays and all. So first for the left hand side, uh, let's see, you have this option, animation option, go to animation option. And this is, I'll have to ag again and again show you this thing. So as you can see, this is coming from top. Okay. So for this, we'll select move option. Okay. Move in, select move in and move in from top. Okay. Then we have short and we have medium. We have long. I want long. So long move from top. This is the one I want to select and direction is top movement. You can control the movement however you want. I want movement 100%, 100%, okay? I cannot explain you these things in more detail because I think the video is already getting uh, pretty lengthy. So I'll have to move a little bit fast, okay? So this is basically moving in from top and movement is 100%, which be basically means that whole entire object should move. If I hover over this preview animation, you can see this is how the animation is. Now we can control the duration, how small, uh, for example, the duration is 2500, which is 2.5 seconds. Okay. I want to uh, increase this thing to 3.5. So I want to slow down the animation speed. Okay. You can also add some delays if you want. Then similarly, you can select the text. You can add animation to the text. You can select this image. You can add animation to the image. Many different images are, or many different options are available. For example, for this, you can select scale in and you have scaled down one. Okay. And after that, you can uh, change the percentage. You can also add uh, some uh, delay. So in this, maybe I want to add delay of 500. Okay. Now if I click on preview all animations, okay, as you can see, this is how it will look like. So this thing is delayed. It starts after half a second. If I increase the delay to 1500, this thing will start after 1.5 seconds. Let me show you preview all animation. Now, as you can see, animation started after 1.5 seconds. This has started. Okay. As you can see. Okay. So you can add some delays as well. So this is how we can add your animations and all. Once you're finished with this, you can click on publish, click on publish changes and you're done with this. What I would recommend you to do is first come back to your dashboard. If you want to understand more about, uh, you know, animations and all, I would recommend you to just open any one of these options, any one of these options that you have, any one of the imported templates, go to the animation section, you will understand more about animation. So basically the more you play around with this, 
template and with this slider the more you will understand about it basically they have made it so easy that you you know you have already seen how easy it is to create this slider now let me show you how you can use this on uh, on anywhere or uh, anywhere on your website so it is you can use it with any page builder if you want or if you want if you're not using page builder if you're if you're using gutenberg or something else you can use it with using the uh, short code option so if you see this option let's see okay we have to open this thing so maybe i want to i want to use this school option so i'll click on this school option and you will see this option if you click on publish you will see this short code copy the first short code once it is copied come back and maybe i want to use it any page so i'll click on page click on add new and i'll give it a title of uh, a demo page maybe okay now we we have copied this short code to paste in the short code over here this is gutenberg you can just click on plus and search for short code element okay now paste in the short code publish this page now if i open this page in a new tab let me show you we have this slider over here okay so this is how easy it is to do this thing if you're using Elementor, click on edit with Elementor. With Elementor, you, you'll get your own element. So if you want, you can just search for depictor. Okay, here's you can see depictor slider. You can just bring, bring it over here. And after that, you can select the slider. So under slider, if you want to create, if you want to select this slider, untitled slider, you can uh, select. Okay, we have not published it, I think. Let's see. It says we have not published it. This untitled one. Let's set it. Okay, huh, we have not published it. Let's publish this thing. Make sure to publish it. Click on publish changes. All right. Let's come back, update it. Okay, let me try it again. School and after that untitled. Okay, now because we have published it, you can see this is working. And if you're using Elementor, if you're using any page builder, make sure to always change this section. So click on edit section and change the content width to full width and stretch section, okay? and gap column gap will be no gap okay now it is looking better okay now you can change the slide we have not created the second slide so that's why you cannot see this if you come back to your previous slide you can see the animation and all whatever you have added all right so this is how it works all right so this is it for this tutorial i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you find this tutorial helpful if you never watch and learn more useful things like this make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications if you like this video give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends on facebook twitter whatsapp whatever social media platform you use and throughout the video if you have any doubts any comments any suggestions for me you can always leave them in the comment section below and finally thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one